Okay, y'all see this motherfucker right here? The greatest cheater of all times. Tom, Thomas Patrick Brady Jr. You know, who just won his, um, well, actually cheated his way to a fifth Super Bowl, per se. You know, I could tell you all four of those rings on there. Tuck Rule, Vinatieri, Spygate, and Deflategate. The fifth one is probably going to be Stolen Playbook, no doubt. But nonetheless, though, um, he's catching a lot of heat now, recently now, from some poem that he recited from the racist um, Rudyard, Rudyard Clipping. Uh, in case y'all don't know who that is, he's the one, the creator that wrote the Jungle Book, where, you know, with Mowgli and Back Hero the Panther and Baloo the Bear and Shere Khan the Tiger, you know, about a boy raised in the India in the wilderness of India, raised by a family of wolves and Shere Khan was trying to get anyway, he's also the creator of the cot uh, of the little cartoon special used to come on when we grew up watching, uh Ricky Ticky Tabby, about the mongoose who protected his family from the den of uh, bite of the cobras. But um, nonetheless, uh, Tom Brady, uh, he recited some poem that came from Kipling, and it's gotten him in a lot of hot water. But to me personally, you know, I've said this a long time ago. That, as was told to me by Elder, had told me um, about Tom Brady's disposition. He's always been a closet racist. So is so is Bill Belichick, and I would not be surprised Robert Kraft either, because they they coddled this motherfucker for so many years and stuff like that. It's just. Um, pathetic. But yeah, he's going he's gonna catch he's catching a lot of heat right now for it. But anyway though, you know, it just goes to show that hey, you know, this guy, you know, he um Yeah, they cheated their way to another Super Bowl, no doubt. But you know, this this right here it's gonna be long, but see, but now what's what's going on here is something that I'm glad is happening. That you know his true colors are starting to show right now. All these women, all y'all people talk about saying he's the goat, he's the greatest of all time. You even got idiots like Skip, like Skip Gayless talk about that Tom Brady is more clutch than Michael Jordan. <sighs> more clutch than Michael Jordan, please. Get out of here. But you know what? These white supremacists and Skip Bayless ain't no different. They'll do anything and everything to try to go ahead and, and try to, you know, post post their golden boy up on the pedestal so bad. It's sort of like last year what they did with Peyton Manning. Same exact thing. You know, he won this with the help of Matt Ryan, no doubt. So that's another story that within itself. But I'm going to be following up more on this, though about with Brady and that racist poem from Kipling. With that said, though, I'm out.